All right, here we have Avalanche symbol AVAX versus the dollar. Daily is in a nice breakdown following the good old LARP lines right here. And I am uh, heavily bearish on this one, especially as long as it's below about $81. Anyways, within the context of current price action, it should be known that daily volatility is at the lowest levels for the longest time that we've seen, basically since October 2021. The last time that we saw them this low, it, it actually was resolved to the upside. That was this run here starting at about 57 bucks be, uh, before reaching their all-time high at 150. But ultimately uh volatility is direction neutral obviously and right now the direction or the direction bias based off of um uh, momentum oscillators does favor the downside for another another move um so i would be looking for bounces around your last weekly lows which is uh basically at around middle of march lows which is uh, 68 or so yeah 68 give or take about a buck from that number um so probably a bit of a bounce there on your shorter term time frames like a four hour but for right now this one you know is it's fucking ugly is what it is. Uh, I don't I don't even look at this as a potential trap until you close a full hour above 72 and a half. So that'd kind of be my invalidation for the short term. Until then, it's just a nice little breakdown right here off of a uh, rectangular um, uh, consolidation, which actually are pretty good formations, to be fair. It's one of those ones that no one talks about, too. Anyways, um, AVAX, uh, USD over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, daily is freshly down again. Again, really, really critical here. So it's not going to take too much to get this one on a bounce, but 74 bucks is going to be the magical number to turn it back up. So, so that is to say that especially as long as uh, AVAX is below 72 and a half, I do look for this one uh, much more likely to reach downside targets first. Um, above 72 and a half, I look for a little bit of a rally towards that 74 number and then a daily closure above 74. And I look for it to continue to play out the range here with a little bit of a trap uh, as we're seeing right now. Do I think that that's likely? No, but um, that would be my conditions for such things. Full hour, again, really, 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 really overdone and critical here, but, uh, but, you know, about to cross down again with any sort of a closure below about 69.92, uh, which you're ever so slightly above. So wouldn't really take too much. But ultimately, look, if Bitcoin if Bitcoin dumps down, this thing very, 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 very likely goes with it. And of course, the big signal that I'm kind of waiting on for resolution today is the five day. And the five day, I think, is quite obvious right here. Um, I mean, shit, if Bitcoin really dumps out and we see like a big, you know, 20, 30 percent move to the downside, I'm saying if not, not we are going to, then I'd be looking for this one to come down towards $50. Actually, we do see five days to momentum just like all the other majors is is rejecting a trend line regression here at the bullish control zone and it's having heavy downside pressure as long as you're below 97 uh, and a half weekly just closed yesterday night again going to be uh, holding within the bearish control zone and turning down freshly with any sort of a closure at the end of this week at 80 bucks so i do i do think that there's significant downside risk here there's no talks of any sort of a bear trap or potential reversal or you know bear trap we already went over that potential reversal i mean it's not even a topic conversation until at minimum we're back above like 80, 80 to 81. But, um, you know, path of least resistance right now does does seem to be a little bit more downside angle. And I think the hopium is that you maybe come down to these March and January lows and put in a low structure there. But um, for right now, you know, not uh, not 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 the most healthy barring. We need some more news, guys. We need some more bullish news. <laughs> so hopefully that's all fun. There you go for uh, Avalanche.